Hi, so today's vlog, I want to talk to you about Some hair loss. in particular women, hair loss is just as bad as the diagnosis of cancer in, in, to begin However, with. However, it doesn't need to be all doom and gloom. If you've been following my uh, channel, you'll know that I try and find the positives in every situation that I can. So 10 positives to having no hair. Number one, it costs you so much less on shampoo. It saves a bloody fortune on haircuts. You know what? I never get nits. Never. Look. I'm going on holiday soon. I have free Brazilian. Excellent. Do you like my hair? Like, it took me like, oh, so long to get ready. Like, something like two seconds? Oh my God. Two seconds to Hi get there. ready. Hi there! Apparently I look like a pirate. It's okay. No one's gonna find me. Who are? Are you talking to me? It wasn't my hair found in your soup. Ganon. Probably wear this the most out of all my head scarves and wigs and everything else because it's so light, really, really comfortable. Um, and it, it, I don't get too hot with it. Um, it's just a nice little head scarf. The only, I guess, negative you can say is it does scream out cancer, but that's not always necessarily a negative because I think that a lot of the time um, people are really nice to you. So that's massive positive. Um, you want people to be nice to you all the time. Feels so light, I'm not getting hot. As you can see, it's growing back. It's not permanent, it's coming back, and I'm still going through chemotherapy. Whoop. Does this look like a wig, really? Do you think? Or do you think it looks like my hair? Does it look like I've got cancer? Because today I don't want to look like I've got cancer. I want to look normal. Um, 10 positives um, for having hair loss. And keep watching and I will tell you my story. Thanks. I used to have long blonde, naturally curly hair and I would often get compliments and sometimes I would straighten my hair so there's quite a lot that I could do with it. It was very, very thick. As my chemotherapy days were drawing close, um, you can see my hair is still quite long on these photographs. This one in particular is the, is the actual day of my first chemotherapy and I lost my hair three weeks after. I actually thought I was getting away with losing my hair but the oncologist did inform me that I would definitely 100% lose my hair and actual, all, actually all the hair on my body I would lose and that was, that was correct. I did manage to keep some of my eyebrows and my eyelashes just became very, very thin. My hair loss after three weeks came out pretty fast, almost within 24 hours. I was waking up on the morning and it was in my mouth it was all over my pillow, so I had decided to take control as my hair became very, very thin and asked my best friend to shave it off for me, which she did. By doing this, I was in control. And when you have cancer, there's not much you can be in control of, but this I could. <laughs> I oh, okay, how thin. If you just have the thickest hair in the world, never mind. It's going to be back. It's going to be back. Look at it all come out, bless her. It just comes out like that. And now oh. Sambo's here to it's gonna go bald. cut and shave it. I don't want it to go bald with, like, a strand. No. You I'm choose fine. when it happens. You're the leader. It's your destiny. For me personally, I'm pl very pleased that I chose to, to shave my hair off because as it was falling out of my hands, it felt quite distressing and a little bit upsetting how fast it was coming out. And it was it was just getting everywhere. It was all over my house. So choosing to shave my hair off for me was a, a good option. Um, as you can see on this picture, it's quite dark. Within a, a day or so, that all came out as well. So I was completely bald. It still looked fine and I got used to it. But sometimes when you would take a selfie, you would jump back and go, ah, because you forget. There's a lot you can do when you've got no hair and I always try and um, make the most of it in a way so I can ha have like different, um, there's different head pieces that you can wear, different headwear, um, there's some really really nice ones out there, different hats, beanies, um, I've got quite a few wigs so every day I can be a different woman if you like um, which is quite a nice thing. This one here is my main wig, uh, they tried to match it to my hair which I struggled with um, but I quite like the, this one the best I think. Um, however, my when my sister's not trying it on, they, they all, they'll try, try it on all the time. I think it's very, very important to laugh while you're going through your chemotherapy treatment and also while you have cancer. I do think that this can, in a way, can be a secret to your own health and your own well-being. Getting through a worse, the worst possible thing you might have to go through in your life and just trying to laugh when you can. So 
the instructions I said when I got my hair shaved was I don't want it to be upsetting in any way. Um, I want it to be an enjoyable experience. So my friend and my husband made sure that I laughed all the way through it. And I think that's very, very important. I found that I actually love wigs and I've got quite a few. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, on hair loss. Not everybody who has chemotherapy does lose their hair, so that's very important to know. So ask your oncologist, asking a chemotherapy nurses if your chemotherapy actually does cause hair loss, because not all of them do. Um, but the ones that do, it's just basically because the chemotherapy reacts to cells that are very active, and your hair follicles are very active. So if you think about how quickly your hair grows, that's because your, your, your cells are so active. So that's why it attacks them, if you like, and it's killing them cells, which means it's doing its job. But um, good luck, everybody who's gone through chemotherapy. I hope that you have a um, the best journey that you can have. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm going through it as well. Um, try and remain pos as positive as you can. Try and see light in every situation and try and turn every negative into a positive wherever you can. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next... Uh, vlog don't forget to subscribe cheers bye